Now, the strongest member of the Baltimore Ravens organization might not be Ray Lewis or Terrell Suggs. The men in purple and black say that honor goes to O.J. Brigance, the former Ravens special teams captain who hasn't played a down in the NFL since 2002 and has been in the Ravens front office for the past nine years. Through his mere presence at work every day, the Ravens say Brigance has shown strength and determination that has inspired the team around him. Hello, everyone. My name is O.J. Brigance, and I am a raven. O.J. Brigance is the strongest man in the building, and it's a building of a lot of strong men. Basically, O.J. Brigance is the spirit of the Baltimore Ravens. He embodies everything that we are, his strength, his testament, his commitment, and he doesn't have to say a word, it's just his presence. In 2000, I was the special teams captain on the Ravens team that went to the Super Bowl. And he is corralled by O.J. Brigands. O.J. was our special team guru, basically. There's nothing like playing with an O.J. Brigands who runs down and sacrifices his body. Super Bowl 35 is just about set to go. I had the opportunity of a lifetime to play in Super Bowl 35. We lined up and kicked off. As I started running, I remember seeing all off the camera flashes. I beat the blocker assigned to block me and made the tackle on the 20 yard line. Some near side and is tackled by OJ Brigance. That tackle sent a message to the Giants and the world that the Ravens had come to play. And the Ravens are the champions of the world. In 2007, I was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, more commonly known as ALS. It was very shocking. It was very, I mean, as it would be for anyone with such a devastating diagnosis. It slowly took away the use of my extremities. First my arms, then my ability to walk, and eventually my ability to talk. I was on one afternoon one day. Oh, they uh, well, how are how you doing? You, yeah, or, or are you making it? And I'm like, no, I'm no more than making it. I'm living it out to the best of my ability. They told us someone living with ALS will probably live anywhere from three to five years. Five years would be the longest. Well, we're in our fifth year, and we're going past our fifth year. What makes me get up three hours early to come into the office is the simple fact that God has blessed me to live another day. So I better get my hind parts moving. My title now is Senior Advisor to Player Engagement. You ready for the championship run? All righty now. Yes. He does so many different things, whether he gives you advice on how to play football, or for me, he helped me apply to get my MBA and get into school. All right, brother. Love you as always. It's the personal emails that he gives me, where he just hits you up random just to check on you to see how you're doing. You know, that stuff means the world to me. When you have somebody like that in your life, man, it helps you to be a better person, better leader. You know, so OJ's like, he, he's that big brother to me, man. OJ's been speaking to the team since our wait. And he was still able to walk and talk at that time. No be satisfied, don't celebrate too much. <laughs> We got some more to do. And since then, we've had him speak to the team through his equipment. He looks at the screen and he can click the letters he wants to click and form the words and form his message. Okay, OJ, you got something for us? Man, you did something very significant today. It is only beginning. Get ready for something great. Ooh. He's the same spirit. He has the same heart. He told us, I don't want you guys to look at me different. That's why I still mess with him to this day. And it's something about you that's always inspired me to be a better, a better man. Happy birthday. I love you a million times, bro. All right. Glad you sir. <laughs> when you think of a struggle, you think of OJ. And you can't come up with any excuse for not to come to work and try to be the best you can be.
There's days where you don't feel like practicing. There's days where your body doesn't feel good. And then OJ comes up in his wheelchair and he already has a message for you. And, and the message is, hey, how you doing? Or come talk to me or how's it going? He was one of the toughest, strongest warriors to play football in this league. And yet by his attitude, been made great through this weakness. We can refuse to see it if we want. We can put it at arm's length if we choose to, but it's right there for all of us to see. And I know that we've all grown from it. Winning another Super Bowl would mean so much to me because I witnessed the sacrifice each man and woman pour into this organization to be success. Regardless of what we go through in life, there is always purpose wrapped within the pain. It all boils to this. Every triumph and tragedy in my life has served as preparation to stand firm in this moment. To take what many perceive as an unbearable circumstance and impact the lives of others. The Babe Ruth Birthplace Foundation announced it will present Brigance and his wife Shonda with its Community Service Award at its annual Babe's Birthday Bash on February 8th at Sports Legend Museum in Baltimore. The Babe, of course, was born in Baltimore.